Hello guys, it's Schleinstein Technology, and uh, welcome back to another video. Give me one second, please. Sorry about that, just shut my door. Um, got a new channel name, got a new um, way of doing things around here. Yeah, I'm still a little amateur because, I mean, I'm still recording on the iPhone 5 here, and it records in 1080 at 30 frames per second, which, you know what? Still respectable for today. But you know what? The iPhone 5, that is not our focus today. Today, our focus is my brand new iPhone 6. Yeah, I didn't get the success. There will be another video on the reason as to why that is. But my iPhone 6, which I'm going to be powering on in about a second. And iOS 10. For anybody who's still contemplating going to the public beta for iOS 10, this is a video for you explaining, is it worth it? Or is it just out there in the blue and you should wait until the official version comes out. So I'm going to re-plug in my iPhone 6 and show you how fast it turns on, which actually, as I've clocked, it's only about a second off. So far, that is, but you know what? That's pretty respect respectable to me. And I mean, iOS 10 crams so many new features in, you would expect it to be a lot slower turning on. Now, iOS 10 is the 10th iteration of the iOS operating system, starting all the way back at iOS 1.0, or iPhone OS, with the iPhone 1, and now, we're up to the iPhone 6s, and everything. Now, one main difference that you should know before upgrading, slide to unlocked, that does not exist anymore. Sliding to unlock, that's no longer a thing. It says for now... I'm going to clear that for now. Um, slide to unlock, that no longer is a thing. You now press... <coughs> excuse me, the home button. And I'm going to type in my passcode, so I'm going to pull the phone out of the uh, screen, but... This is iOS 10. Yeah, on the skin, it doesn't look too much different. Now, uh, I'm going to hide my assistive touch. I have Touch ID, and it actually does work. I mean, reachability still works now. If you remember from iOS 9, you had the search menu, which they took away in iOS 7 and brought back to iOS 9. Now, it looks a little more like this. Now, my stuff's not loading right now because, well... My Wi-Fi is slow, and I usually don't turn my phone off. I actually wasn't going to for the video, but you know what? I decided to. Sliding up, you still get your Siri sec suggestions. And I mean, this is just your ordinary iPhone 6, so. Now sliding up from the bottom, you get the new and improved control center, which I'm actually proud to say they brought back the big flashlight marker. It's nice and big. And the cool part is these are all different colors. And I really think it's awesome. Now I'm going to turn that off because I kind of like my stuff. Night Shift. It's now a bigger setup. Let me just uh, turn it off, dang you. Oh, also I forgot to show you. Music. Just slide to the right and boom. It's much more intuitive. I like it. A lot of people don't like it. Now, animations on the apps, that's changed a little bit too. See, folders just open up like that. I don't have very many folders. So, see? It's a little bit of a weird animation. And actually, for my phone, it kind of looks like it's a uh, 60 frame per second um, animation. You're probably not going to get to see the beauty of it on my camera since my camera only shoots in 30. Now, like, if you open an app, let's open up settings. Slightly different animation. It actually zooms into the app like it used to do for, uh, iOS 7, but in a slightly different manner. And, uh, the cards, the playing card version, yeah, that's still there. But, um, if I go to settings, general, and about, um, this phone has iOS 10.0, if you can see it there. So, that's pretty cool. 
But um, the coolest feature ever, you can actually delete the stock apps like Home, Mail, iTunes Store. You can't delete App Store. I don't know why they let you delete iTunes, though. Makes no sense. But um, you can delete Maps, Video. I might delete Maps, actually. Calendar, Weather. I don't know why you delete half of these that they allow you to. Um, like, I can understand deleting Maps. I can understand deleting Home. Because I'm never going to use HomeKit. And I can understand deleting that because I have Gmail. But that's about it for the main operating system. Not much else has changed. Um, notifications are a little richer and a little bigger. But it's all uh, Touch ID based. Since this is not a Touch ID device, which I can show you just by going, Neh. yeah, it doesn't work. But uh, that's how that works. So... Not much has changed there. Uh, opening up the camera, the camera is a little different because the camera switcher is now down here. So switch it up to the front facing camera. Hi. But um, that's what it looks like. Switch it back to the back. You've got flash, HDR, timer, blah, 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 blah. Still, you got your panorama, square, photo, video, slow-mo, and time lapse. So everything still works the way it used to. Just a couple things are in different positions. Now, when we go back to the lock screen, let me lock my phone real quick. Um, here's where things get different. These are your suggestions, which I don't know why mine aren't loading. They were loaded a little while ago. Okay, a couple of them are starting to load. But, um, I mean, whatever. You can see where they are. That's all that really matters. Um, so now, instead of sliding up from the bottom right here, like it was in iOS 9, you slide to the opposite side that you used to slide to unlock, and camera again. So, a few minor differences. Now, you press the home button to unlock, or my favorite way to do it, Holding on Touch ID, if it works, it says unlocked at the top. So I push the home button, I'm in. I think it's kind of cool, but also stupid. Because I could accidentally hold my thumb on the button, and I could accidentally unlock it. Now, iMessages, things have severely changed. So I'm going to message someone let's just pick my brother he's got an i message that he doesn't use anymore now i'm going to type something like hello but i really want him to see it so what you do is you touch and hold your finger if you have a 3d touch device you 3d touch on that but you touch and hold and, uh, you can see Invisible Ink, Gentle, I could send it loud, so it's like, like that, or go high, and hit Slam. So let's go, um, the king is in... The house. Now, if I touch the emoji button, these letters become orange. Do you know why? There's this thing called um, emoji replacement. So I'm going to tap on the word king. Boom. Crown. Tap on the word house. And I get a house. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's just send that there. Now, if you send emojis... They're three times as big. Now, uh, on 3D Touch devices, this is slightly different. I'm going to do this for people who don't have 3D Touch. This means iPhone 5, 5C, um, SE, 5S, and 6. If you touch and hold on this, I can hit the thumb up button. And they see that. It's pretty cool. Um, another thing I can do is I can go... Party. 
hold this and go to screen. Now they have different effects. I think the only one I have currently, nope, that's center. Here's confetti. Lasers. Send with fireworks. Or send with shooting star. You know what? We're going to send this one with lasers. Let's see what this does. Pretty cool, isn't that? iOS 10 has remade the iMessage app cool. Ever since 2011, it's lost its cool factor. Now it's cool again. There's not much else changed inside of iOS 10. Everything is basically the same. Uh, like, see? This isn't different. Nothing really is. But, iOS 10, I will tell you, on the iPhone 6, it runs very smoothly. I mean, it did not run this smooth when um, I had it on iOS 9. So, there's a very... Very, very profusely noticeable speed difference on the iPhone 6. I became tongue-twisted for a minute there. Um, the only thing I cannot figure out how to do... There is a thing that when you're on the lock screen and you pick the phone up, it's raised to peak or something. I can't get that to work. and I think that's just me because I'm an idiot. So, I mean... P-E-A-K-V-I-E-W. Yeah, see, I can't find it. It might be an iPhone 6S feature only, but if I do find it, I will tell you guys. Because you shall be the first to know. So let's just get rid of that. So that's basically iOS 10. Siri. Hello, Siri. I'm not sure what you said there. Hello, Siri. Good evening, Optimus Prime. What can you do? See, they added this feature. This is pretty cool. Um, She can do all this stuff. Now, here's a question. Why would you say you could turn on airplane mode? I tap, point at the repeat. I mean, if I turn that on, no more theory. But, uh, something else that's pretty cool, you can lock notes now. I mean, um, I think it's pretty cool. It works, and you use Touch ID or a passcode, but you gotta turn it on in settings. But, basically, ladies and gentlemen, that is iOS 10. Now, my personal thoughts about it, should you upgrade? It's up to you. I upgraded my main device because, you know what? I don't care. I am a risk taker. I'm an idiot. And I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. So, I mean, if you want to upgrade to iOS 10, I recommend it, actually. It's a lot better than iOS 9. Now, I have yet to do a video on upgrading an iPhone 5 or any other A6 power device. Anything non-64-bit. Now, I do believe they are offering the upgrade to the iPod Touch 5th generation, which I honestly believe is the worst mistake they could do. The A5 chip was underpowered on iOS 9. It could not keep up. That's the worst idea they could come up with. But, final words, do I recommend iOS 10? Heavily. I very much recommend it. Should you upgrade? It's under your uh, discretion. If you want to upgrade and see all the cool new features, try them out before your friends, do it. Show your friends, hey, I got iOS 10 for you. Now, if you need to know how to upgrade to iOS 10, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. And that's going to show you how to get iOS 10 on your devices. It's the link. All you need to do is sign up using the sign up button, download the profile, and you are good to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Swinestein Technology with another video over another iOS device. And see you guys later. Peace out.